In this video, I am going to discuss about how to set up and configure your Python virtual environment with the help of Miniconda. So let's start. So the first step you need to download Miniconda from Miniconda site. Here it is. Click on this link, and here you will find different installers for different platforms. And you can see that it has support for Windows, Mac OS. And Linux and all platforms have support for both Python 3.8 and 2.7 but Linux has an additional support for Python 3.7 for this demo I I am using Linux machine so click on this link save it Go to download folder. Yes, it's downloaded. And in order to install Miniconda in your environment, you need to go to command prompt and go to download folder. LS. And you'll find that we have Miniconda shell script and we need to install it within our platform. So for that, we have command sh. SH is to execute your shell script. Miniconda, press enter. Press enter. And you need to keep pressing your enter command until you'd be able to find yes no prompt. So here it is. Write yes, press enter. And you need to press enter again. So here, what it will do, it will Try to unpack your Miniconda installer for Linux and it will try to install all the packages required for building up base Python environment. Right, so here you can see that it has already downloaded Python 3.8.3 and also some other associated packages which are required for setting up your python environment so like we have pip and conda so these two pop packages will provide you supports in terms of installing any packages within your environment right and conda also provide you additional functionality for creating your python virtual environment so that's what it it's doing right now and once you will press yes here it will initialize your mini conda environment and now it will be ready for your use so see you'll find that your mini conda installation is done and now you can use it for your development activities but before proceeding into those activity you need to make sure that mini conda has been installed successfully so for that, first you need to check Miniconda command prompt, which is conda. Press enter. And here it's saying that conda command not found. The main reason for this, because as we are using interactive cell and we haven't restarted our interactive cell to pick the, the latest changes made by Miniconda. So in order to use conda command either you need to close and start your command prompt again or you you can also reload all the mini conda changes within this cell itself so for that we have command called source bash rc press enter and now just type conda so here it is and this will provide you all the commands available under conda which will help you for creating your python virtual environment and also provide you command for installing any new packages within your python virtual environment it has different commands and in this demo i will just walk you through few commands which are mostly used by all developers and data scientists during their python virtual environment creation so 
so let's go ahead so here we'll just try to see what is my python version here so you can see that my python version is python 3.8.3 .3, right because that's what we have requested so which looks okay that is fine the second check you need to consider is this base so this base signifies that you are in the base environment where miniconda has been installed and in order to check whether we have any other environment available within miniconda or not so for that we have command called conda env list press enter and you can see that we have only one environment base and this asterisk will tell you that right now my base environment is active right so whatever command we would be firing against it would be run against base environment right so the next step will try to create one virtual environment and we'll see how it works so for that we have command called conda create give name of your environment so i'm just giving ml demo and we can also provide your python virtual environment so, so i'm planning to use python 3.7.6 press enter so it will set up your python virtual environment for 3.7.6 so here it is so it, it it it's asking for your confirmation right and here it's trying to pull some information from pip uh, pi repository so right now it's asking for 3.7.6 which is which is correct and also it will install pip so pip pip is required for installing any packages within your environment right so these are the prerequisite conda is asking for and once you'll press y it will simply download and extract the package and will install it within your environment right so it's done and towards the end of environment creation it will provide you two instructions one how you can activate your python environment and how you can deactivate it so right now conda has only created your environment ml demo environment but it hasn't activated yet in order to activate that environment so that we can use it for our purpose we need to run this command just copy it paste it press enter so now you can see that ml demo so now ml demo is activated right and how you can check it just fire this command on the env list press enter and now you can see that we have two environment one is base and the next one is ml demo and he, we can we can see that asterisk in front of ml demo so that means my ml demo environment is active right now and now we can use it for our purpose so first we'll check what is my python version type python press enter and you can see that it's python 3.7.6 which is correct because that's what we had requested right python 3.7.6 and if we we'll try to import some python packages or data analysis and pandas is one of the widely used package for your data analysis just import pandas press enter it will tell you model not found no model named pandas so which is correct right because we haven't installed any new packages within our virtual environment and that's why it's throwing error saying that model not found error so in order to fix it just come out from this command prompt and now we will use pip command pip to install pandas pip install pandas 
प्रेस एंटर तो इट विल इंस्टॉल पैंडाज इन योर इन्वायरमेंट तो इट विल नॉट ओनली इंस्टॉल पैंडाज बट इट विल आल्सो इंस्टॉल ऑल द एसोसिएटेड डिपेंडेंसीज विद इन पैंडाज तो नाउ वी कैन सी दैट हाउ मेनी पैकेजेस वी हैव विद इन आवर पाइथन वर्चुअल इन्वायरमेंट so for that we have command called conda list see so conda list will will show you all the packages present in our environment and you can see that we have installed pandas and in addition to that it has also downloaded numpy so pandas has a dependency on numpy so that's why during our installation it has also downloaded numpy right and now we will check whether it has been installed successfully or not so for that we have command pypython and now we'll try to import pandas so it's successful and we we can also try it for numpy press enter it's working fine absolutely fine so that means my uh, our python package installation within ml demo environment is working fine right so now we'll just try to deactivate this environment and we would like to go into the base environment so for that what command we have conda deactivate press enter and now you can see that my environment has been switched back to base and how we can cross check it we can cross check it by giving this command conda env list press enter and now you can see see, see asterisk in front of base So which means right now my base environment is active, and here we'll again recheck whether we are able to install uh, import pandas and numpy within base environment or not, just to make sure that my virtual environment functionality is working fine. Press enter, and we'll try to import pandas here. Press enter, it will say module not found error, so which is fine, which is absolutely perfect because we haven't installed anything within. python base environment so pandas we have installed within ml demo environment right and that's why it's giving it its uh, no module named pandas within the base environment so in this way we manage dependencies and we can isolate our changes clearly so whatever we need to be installed in in any particular environment install it and those installation will not impact any other changes which which resides within different virtual environment so that provides a clear segregation between your environments and you can run your application without breaking any dependencies right so come out from this window and that's the completion of the fundamentals of your python virtual environment creation hope you like it thanks for watching this video see you next time